I started like not being able to breathe and coughing really loud and then I kind of like looked over to Drake and I was like ah, and started wheezing really loud. If it sounds dramatic, it was. A student at Del Campo High School jumped into action and saved his best friend's life. Yeah, he stopped his friend from choking to death. CBS 13 Steve Large has the story. <laughs> <laughs> Drake Bender and Wolfgang Stover were walking away from the cafeteria at Del Campo High when Wolfgang started choking on a chicken nugget. He stopped talking and started coughing and snorting and making all kinds of sounds and kind of like put his hands right here. I looked at Drake and he's like, are you okay? And I was like, <sighs> and then he started doing the Heimlich maneuver on me. A dramatic moment like that deserves a recreation. The two friends showed us exactly where it happened. I was like leaning over right here, like trying to get my food out of my throat. He was going like that and he started backing up towards me and I just grabbed him and started doing that, like going up and back. Drake had received emergency training in the Boy Scouts and also in school so he knew right away to do the Heimlich maneuver. Kind of go like this uh -huh. and then get your hands together and kind of like you want to pull back and kind of up at the same time and just you don't want to do it too hard you don't want to do it not hard enough. Turns out Drake did it exactly right and saved Wolfgang's life. I was like oh my god uh, thank you I, <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you and then I texted him later that night and I was like Drake like uh, uh, like for real like you just saved my life today and I really appreciate that and I'm glad we're friends. And what did he text back? He's like, oh, it's no biggie. <laughs> so we texted him. Hey, yeah. dude, saved my life. Thanks. Dude, thanks. Good going. All right. Well, Drake is no stranger to <laughs> overcoming challenges. You know, he was born blind in both eyes and now only has partial vision in one eye.